a deeper sleep. This time the voice said, you like to argue. (laughs) (laughs) And then the voice said something that I'm afraid to say out loud. The voice said, and you argue like a woman (laughs) with no logic. (laughs) The voice said that. (laughs) And the voice said, you might be a caregiver if you believe you can argue both sides of a debate and win. But you don't argue fair because you have no logic. Like a woman, the voice said. The voice said. And I said, what do you mean? What are you talking about? The voice said, when I said ease his pain, you got angry, defensive, and aggressive. And said, how dare I ask you to do more? Moments later, when I offered you help, you said, I got this. Leave me alone. Which is it? You can't have it both ways. The voice said, you're setting yourself up for a fall. And at this point, I wanted to take control of my own flight and my own mind. And I said, stop. I know where you're going with this. I don't need to hear this. I've already talked to my doctor. He told me there's two kinds of depression. He told me there's chronic depression and episodic depression. Chronic depression is where you're blue and sad and you don't know why and it's for a sustained period and it came on vaguely with no real reason and you don't know when it's going to go away. (coughs) And then there's episodic depression which comes on because you've had an incident or a tragedy and it has a limited period of time and it resolves itself. What I have is chronic episodic depression. (laughs) Thank you very much. I don't need help. I need more time. time. And the voice said, oh my God, you're in worse shape than I thought. Rest. You're going to need it. And so I did. I slept the rest of the way home on the plane and, uh, When we landed in BWI, I counted to ten before I told the little girl 